and BJ and the Bear. Okay, uh, here's a clip of that. But tell me more about the it's Mr. Larson. I didn't, I didn't know who made this the show. Lynn Larson, responsible for an awful, awful lot of. TV theme songs, mountains of theme music from television shows that should have never been produced. But I can promise you, one, one sticks in my mind that should have been produced. I don't know if he was responsible for the music, but Magnum PI. Yeah, that's awesome. Tom Selleck, you know. Hey, Thomas, you can't, you can't take the King Kalua out. <laughs> You know, so you had TC that was a really oh, cool guy, Tom had his Selleck. had his head screwed on straight. And then you had Rick that was always coming around the corner like a little jet, guy, yeah. jet mat, and bothering the hell out of everybody and trying to compensate for his short. Yeah, moves. biting them on the ankles. Game that, no, Thomas, <laughs> Thomas, they said you can't take the ball. I'm sorry. <laughs> you can't rock a porn stash like Tom Selleck. None of us can. Those '70s porn star mustaches. My, yeah, my brother Jeff had one. He looked like Magnum PI on AIDS. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm feeling bad. I'm on the AIDS now. <laughs> <laughs> the British guy? What's the name of the British guy? Which British guy? He's not British. He's from Tech. <laughs> you talking about uh, H- Higgins. 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 Higgins is. Fr- H- he's yeah, from. Yeah, Higgins. Yeah, Higgins is from Texas. I forget what his name is. But, but why does he talk like that? Uh, well, because they probably needed to cast him he for the show. He wanted to sound cool. He needed a job. <laughs> well, his character on the show, is he British? He's foreign, right? Yeah, he's he's foreign. But the character is. Okay. okay. That guy's okay. from Texas. Well, that's fine. You know, I, I, I don't, I'm more concerned about the character's background. <laughs> <laughs> Here we are, back again. So that's John Hillerman. 
Oh, that was John Hillary. Yeah, and there was always the talk as to whether or not he was actually Robin Masters. Yeah, because it talks like that. But he is not English at all. <laughs> <laughs> Magnum, you can't drive the Ferrari. I don't do it, I don't do it again. <laughs> Ten TC's like, like, I'm sorry I woke up in your bed again this morning, Thomas. <laughs> Oh, Thomas. Yeah. <laughs> the lads are out for a walk. I'm sorry they yeah. dumped in your car. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the lads. Oh. The lads. <laughs> Just let go the dogs. Yeah, the I, lads. I, I, I know more about this shit than I let on, don't I? <laughs> <What's>, <laughs> Uh, whatever. Yeah, so when they, uh, the show first started and they were filming the opening sequence and the helicopter's flying real close to the water, uh, somebody actually crashed their helicopter and died while filming that. Really? Yep. Ooh, Ooh Island Hopper's down. Captain Bring Down. <laughs> Island Hopper's down. So, I mean, what? Oh, it, 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 one, one you mentioned, uh, how about the, the Fall Guy? Lee Majors. Oh, I love that theme song it's as a, well. It's a desperate life I lead. How does it, can, do you remember the theme song? Can you get me started on that? <laughs> Never been seen with anything less than a nine. So fine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I want to hear that song so bad. All right, but here it is. Well, I'm not the kind to kiss and tell, but I've been seen with fair up. I've never been with anything less than a nine. So fine. I've been on fire with Sally Field and gone fast with a girl named Bo. But somehow they just don't end up as mine. It's a death defying life I lead. I take my chances. I die for living in the movies and TV. But the hardest thing I ever do is watch my leading ladies kiss some of the guy while I'm bandaging my knee. I might fall from a tall building I might roll a brand new car Cause I'm the unknown stuntman To make red for such a star I've never spent much time in school But I've taught ladies plenty It's true I hire my body out for pay Hey, hey I've gotten burned over Cheryl Teague's blown up for Rocky Welch. But when I wind up in the hay, it's only hay. Hey, hey, I might jump an open drawbridge or Tarzan from a vine. Cause I'm the unknown stuntman that makes Eastwood look so fine. So. <laughs> Got another fresh one for you. How about Mission Mission Impossible? I mean, it, 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 there's really nothing fresh about it, but it, it was what it was. The one with Peter Graves? Uh, yeah, it's Peter Graves. <laughs> that's, Peter Graves on biography. That's Graves. <laughs> <laughs> what a piece of shit. <laughs> oh. And, of course, you, know, you get Hawaii Five-0, of course. Yeah, I remember that. Of course, the, the catchphrase. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh, yeah, I didn't want to say it. I, I feel so cliche. Say it, say it, say it, say it. Say it. Uh, book them, Dano. Bam. <laughs> Come on, Dano. <sighs> <laughs> All right. I, I watch a lot more Gilligan's Island than I'd like to admit. E- yeah. uh, another great instrumental sh- Show, show with instrumental theme song, The Rockford Files on the morning yeah. line. James Garner in all his former glory, ex con turned PI, fantastic man, hanging out, fishing with his dad. Yeah. Makes you want to cry. It always started with like an answering machine sequence where people were leaving messages on his machine. Er, Mr. Rockford, you got your brown firebird out in front of my house. <laughs> <laughs> tones of home, tones of home, tones of home. I, I think we, we may have gotten a tad off track, and we've got more shit here than we could ever possibly want to deal with. But uh, look, movies. What was your favorite movie as a kid? We already talked about Star Wars, so that's out of the question. From the seventies. Mm-hmm. 
favorite movie as a kid from the seventies. Let me let me let me, chew, let me mull on that for a second while you uh, kind of get me warmed up. Okay, with a uh, you know you got to think of uh, French Connection, Gene Hackman, supposedly or, the best car chase. My dad. Ever in a movie? Yeah. My dad yeah. was in a movie. Your, your dad was in a French Connection. Oh, my God. Uh, taxi Driver, not your dad. Um, Carrie, Sissy Spacek, made to look pretty with pig blood. <laughs> wow. Uh, See if you remember this line. Carrie is so very. You remember that commercial? S- smooth. <laughs> <laughs> It was like so a, a moisturizer bar or something. Absolutely. <laughs> um, Carrie, how, how about so very. <laughs> Rocky Horror Picture Show made Susan Sarandon look tasty? Oh, uh, Soylent she's hideous. Soylent Green made people in general look tasty. Mash made fun of the war. Clockwork Orange gave you a bit of the old in and out. You ever seen that? That was a creepy movie. Yeah, well, it was creepy. Uh, speaking of creepy, Willy Wonka. Oh, Gene Wilder. Uh, that was like on an HBO at your house all the time, like the Chocolate Factory movie. It's just a weird, weird movie. Uh, violet. You're turning violet, Violet. <laughs> Animal House, which I wasn't allowed to watch. Oh, my God. I love that movie. For whatever reason, I was allowed to watch Deliverance, though. Uh, hey, 1972. Really? Filmed right in our backyard. Not in my backyard, but, in, you know. It just Probably in, my backyard, though. <laughs> <laughs> then we got other things to talk about. <laughs> when you get right down to it, I, it, it the one you mentioned, fantastic convoy. Oh, 